we're going to paint some small evergreen trees. You will need four of your brushes, your number six round, your number one round, and your quarter inch and half inch flat. And some paper towel, some water, and a scrap that you can test your colors on. I've mixed up two different greens, a brighter green, and then a darker, more muted green. Using the darker green and my quarter inch flat, I'm making some marks on my paper. They're about a half an inch apart and they will be the top and bottom of the tree. Now I'm using my number one detail brush, picking up some paint about a medium value and I'm going to make some marks like this. Starting at the top of the tree, dabbing off my paint so I don't have too much since these marks are quite small. I'm putting in the top branches. The branches towards the top of the tree will be shorter, of course, and then as they move down the trunk, they will be longer and more full. Make sure to have some marks in the front of the tree so you're covering part of the trunk and I'm trying to make sure that I have some randomness to it so it's not even on both sides. Next, I'll pick up some darker paint and drop it in. And I'm trying to do this while that first layer is still wet. This will give it some volume and add some shadow areas. Next, I wanna show you what not to do. You don't want these to look like a cartoon. So if you just bring in your brush strokes like this, it does not look very natural. You also don't want to have things just evenly spaced like this. And if it helps, I would definitely recommend looking at some trees as you're painting. So here I'm going to make one that's a little taller so I've made my marks longer. The branches on this tree will be arching upward as opposed to the first tree. And it will have slightly more detail. Adding some darker paint to the bottom. And a few final details. Next, I'll show you how to use your flat brush to add some branches. I'm using the quarter inch, just making a few branches here and there. And then my number one detail brush to add details. In the video, it looks like I'm working really quickly, but I'm not. It's a good idea to stop occasionally, hold your paper up, see how your tree looks. And then you can adjust as you go along. The trees on the left have had a chance to dry, so I'll go in a third time with some darker paint and add more shadow areas. Now I've taken some lighter paint and my number six brush and I'm making the marks bigger and less detailed. Going in with some darker paint over the top. The top part already dried, but ideally it would still be wet so that the colors could bleed into each other. I'm making one more. And I'm using the same method as the fourth tree but I've mixed up some blue. And while this paint is still wet, I'm going to drop the blue in because sometimes you see trees that do have a definite blue hue to them. I'll just let that dry and see how it turns out. 